ak lo ko bëgg bëgg waxidiw sallam dañ koy nat ci alquran ak sunna mu doora deugal doesn't matter who the person is doesn't matter how honorable or how respectable the person is anybody who say any statement is for us to take that statement back to quran and sunna and put it in the balance of quran and sunna and see do his statement matches quran and sunna for us to take it why is the rule that waxidiw rek lay dal doon but indeed if the statement is weak is nothing but a statement of a human being who is full with mistakes yonenti bi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam moy ko xana bo ne neena ko ko ken amatu lo wax as reason why the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam he is the only one who has this title whenever we say the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam say, say, say something whatever anything that he says is for us to just take it and follow it because he is someone that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give this type of uh, uh, um um a title to yow gannaaw donte ci sahaba yu magay wax saxna su ma xey dañ naan ah ba mom lim wax fi mbay ju yowut ak la yaron tabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam buñ ju yowut gana kon alhamdullilah whoever say anything even though he is from the 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 the, the major of the of the the major scholars from the sahaba from the campaign of prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam whoever said anything is for us to take it back and see what he said do we contradict the quran and the sunnah if not we take it if it, if it is contra- uh, if it go against the quran and the sunnah we reject it and stay away from it ñu bax ni ñu kangam ya wote tek ya kilifa ya sunna ñu bax ñak kenn ku ci nek lu mu wax nga xamni li waxi diwa ñi xol gis le depo na jang ci sallallahu alayhi wasallam ko ko def ko def top doesn't matter who they are is it from the major scholar from the from 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 the most senior of the scholars from the most respected of us from our mashayikhs from the people of people mashayikhs from the honorable one from the leaders whoever they might be who whatever they might say is for us to take that statement back to see how quran and sunna uh, looked at it meaning how how is the uh, the deal with quran and sunna if it's okay then we deal with it if not we stay away from it so you say ñom te am na ndax kat ñom te nak day am nit ki ak lu mag mag fa yalla ginaaw lu yonent ndir day ñew mu jappé ni ni la nekat du ni la ya akhwan this is a ruling right here this is from the foundation of our religion anybody make mistakes anybody make mistakes so whoever said statement is forced to take that statement back to quran and sunnah and check it because it doesn't matter how high or how low the person is he still do he still make mistakes the only people that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect from this type of uh, um uh, mistakes and stuff like that is those that he guarantee us that it won't happen and th- those are the prophet and the messengers yusuf hadith defina hadith bi nekati ni la nekati hadith bi lenen lay wax yusuf hadith defina hadith bi yoro nekati hadith bi yoro yoy day gar ñep su gaare ko ko nak bam juum ko ko di su ko top ci juum te way dañi ñaan bo rabbi tabaarak wa ta'ala mu jeggal ko ndax lu baax la bu doonte defna ciono bu metti pour xam deug way nak li dal bindef ko dal moy mu juum fi deuram yalla nako yalla jeggal ak juum te su ko defé ñi bañ ko top ci lool as is in why alhamdulillah sometimes you see the scholar they might they might look at a hadith and the hadith might be not be authentic and they they, they base on it is authentic sometimes they base on it is is not authentic and is authentic sometimes they have their own viewing about it and is the other than that it, it happened most of the time but inshallah alhamdulillah when stuff like this happen it's not for us to follow those scholars or those major people in their mistakes but it's for us to make dua for them ask allah to forgive them because they they try the best they can they try to 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 find the truth because they did a lot of effort they did a lot of work in it and we be talking about work and effort is not the way we think in work and effort these scholars they do major work in it major work and it's for us to ask and praise allah so and ask beg allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive them and reward them with good and it's for us to rectify their mistake to something that is way better than that mbok julli di ahlu sunna wal jamaa ganna bu lol nekke seeni ponk bok na ci moy ep solo ci bo xamne dañ koy jëfëndiko ngir di jallale la seenu boote moy jakka da people of ahlu sunnah wal jamaa ala salafiyyun ahlu hadith the sunni they use ways meaning one of the way they used to pass the da'wa to call upon their da'wa to make their da'wa go forward to call people of khair to rectify the mistakes and the errors of the people of innovation to rectify the errors of the uh, of the people and teach the people the place they use the method they use the biggest one of them is the masajid of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they use the masajid of allah to do this type of da'wah sen wasila bi ñu gëna jëfëndiko ci woti
the biggest wasila, the biggest way they use to uh, to call upon the da'wah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the massages of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They use the massages of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what they use most of their da'wah, most of their calling upon, upon the da'wah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The biggest wasila they use, Ya Ikhwan, as far as their da'wah, the biggest one of them is that they they call upon something that is much better than what we think. And that is what? The houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the reason why even if you go back to the to the to the to the seerah of the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, you will see that from the first place he was calling da'wah is the house, this is the house of Arham ibn Abi Arkham. Arham ibn Abi Arham was one of the houses, the first house that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam used to call da'wah. And you will see the biggest university that Islam has is the Masajid of Allah. Is the Masajid of Allah. Inside that university, that's where Abu Bakr, Omar, all these big people that they are bigger in history than anybody. Any college you graduated, you graduated from, any college you went to, any degree you got, they have a bigger degree than you. And that's the degree of believing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's the degree of being a human being. And that's the degree of fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and understanding what's good and what's bad. And that's something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed the companion of, of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because they was raised under his shade, him the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was there with them, he was correcting them if they make mistake, if they do something good, he tell them about it. So, the Shaykh, Hafizahullah ta'ala, he just teaching us about this manner, this field. And that's the field and that's the manner of a tawheed. And that's the manner of field of the way of the Salaf of Salih. To just show you that any other way other than the way of Salaf of Salih is something that is have is mistaken errors in it. Alhamdulillah, uh, the way of the Prophet is still is still here, available with us, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala blessed us with it to follow it and to see, you know, the right thing uh, of following the Prophet Sallallahu and you know, acting upon it, and you know, being a Muslim and acting upon upon, upon, upon guidance and, and the likes of it, you know.